Yeah, the room looks a lot bigger now that we got a continuous floor out into the addition. Got to get a transition piece of molding across here. I'll probably end up just caulking along the fireplace. I don't know what else I could do there. You need that quarter inch or five sixteenths inch for expansion. I suppose it really will expand a lot there just from the heat of the fire. And over here we just use the same baseboard. And need another transition piece over here. Transition molding. I'll have to do something along these posts too. I might be able to caulk that or put some quarter round base shoe on there. Got to finish out over here yet.
I didn't make these decorative boards that I stuck on the wall right here. This is something that my wife picked out. She just fell in love with this look. So I just bought them. It's some type of OSB with a photo finish on it. And these are just, I think they're five inch boards. They went on pretty easy. They're pretty accurate and uniform. Went on pretty good. I think it was about $58 to do that little bit. I think I probably could have done something like that, maybe with a whitewash and then sanding it. But just for this little bit, it was just easier to buy them and stick them on there. I did make this uh, little stool that you see right there. I actually made that probably like 42 years ago when I was in high school. I never finished it then, but it's still holding up. It's a little loose. I never did uh, put any finish on it. That's just the bare oak boards that I built it with. And on these window extensions, this is just some standard pine board 1x8s that I cut. And I just rounded this off right here to make it look like an old-fashioned type window. And to dress it up a little bit, I put these little decorative corners on top. That look pretty interesting. And around these posts, where that gap was between the flooring and the post, I put some uh, base shoe, or some people call it quarter round, to cover up that gap for the expansion and contraction of the flooring. And this flooring ended up looking pretty cool. This is called weathered oak. Like a repurposed oak board. And I think maybe there was like six to eight different types of boards. And you just had to mix them up so you wouldn't get the same thing. You wanted them to look like there was a pattern. But it turned out pretty good. And around the fireplace I still didn't caulk that. I couldn't find any caulking yet that was that color that would match in with the uh, cement and rocks but that's pretty much what I have left to do and the transition piece I found that would work from the flooring down to the ceramic was just a metal strip it works pretty decent matches in pretty good for the baseboard I use standard 1x4 pine boards and for trim around the windows and doors, I used 1x3. Had to match what we had in the rest of the house. And if you ever look at the prices that they have in those lumber stores for trim molding, <laughs> the prices are just frightening. I think it probably cost maybe six or seven times more to use that stuff than what I use. And I think it looks pretty good with what I did right here. And that deer that you see over my shoulder, that's as old as that stool is that I showed a little bit earlier. That's 42 years old. That was the first big buck that I shot and the only one I ever mounted. And for a final touch, we moved it from the fireplace over to this wall so it'll be noticed when people walk in the door. Well, thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one.